Hi, my name is Mike from Mike's Carburetor Parts. Uh, I'm working on a Carter two-barrel WCD carburetor, and uh, I thought I would show you uh, one of the more complicated parts to this carburetor, and that's the metering rod set up here. And I'm going to uh, take it apart, and I'm doing this mostly so you can see how this thing is uh, put together, so you can get yours back together. And uh, first thing we have is a, uh, here's our two metering rods with our metering rod holder. And see how it floats here and what happens, the vacuum, there's a piston on the other end of it. And the vacuum will pull it down like this when it's running. And this uh, little uh, arm right here has a, uh, oh, uh, on the bottom of it has a piece sticking out that fits into this uh, metering rod holder. And uh, when it's down like this, and you push on the uh, throttle, uh, what it does, it'll it'll pull the medium rods up out of the main jets and allow more fuel to flow. And at the same time, the other end here is hooked to the uh, accelerator pump. And uh, so so when you hit the the uh, accelerator pump, uh, not only does it pull the uh, metering rods up out of the main jets. It also uh, pushes the accelerator pump down and, and pumps extra gas uh, right here and will it come out of these two tubes right here. All right, so uh, there's a little clip right here on this one. Now your WCD may vary just a little bit depending on the year, but basically they're all about the same. So we got this little arm like this, and you have a... a a long shaft that goes into the accelerator pump and then you have the short one and that's where the clip was that I took off. So now we have the accelerator pump uh, loose. Uh, the next thing you want to do is uh, loosen this uh, set screw right here. Now this one uh, uh, I had the uh, uh, linkage and everything already unhooked. I just wanted to show you this one part. Alright so then see now I can pull the shaft clear out and there we go. And so here's the little arm you can see here where uh, this little piece right here fits into the uh, uh, metering rods. And this part here fits into the accelerator pump. Now, <clears throat> I can't get the, the metering rods out without taking the top off because uh, there's a little piston that hooks. Uh, uh, you can see it comes through right here. And on the bottom, there's a piston that hooks onto it. Uh, see, I don't have it right in front of me right now, but you get the idea. Uh, so it won't come out, but basically if I was putting this back together um, I would uh, Put the medium rods in here and uh, also the medium rods has a little spring Don't lose this spring here because you can't buy these uh, That I know of anyway, and they clip to the medium rods and kind of uh, hold them together All right <clears throat> So so here we go uh, if I was going to put this back together here um, Of course it'd be cleaned up but you see this little arm fits into the meeting rods like that. And then the meeting rods are sticking way up, which is okay. And I'm going to put the shaft in here. And uh, you basically will end up going one way. you got a flat part of the shaft, and that goes down here. So you got a set screw here, but the, to keep it from moving sideways, basically, it, it, it can't twist because it's because of the flat part here so anyway you just stick it in there like that and there's only one way it'll go I'm gonna push the metering rods down a little bit What's the story here? Okay, so this has to set right straight down. Okay. So you have to put that in there, the arm, into the metering rods. There you go. Get it lined up just right. All right, so the shaft's in there. There. Shaft's all the way in. Okay. So I can go ahead and tighten this. Yeah, 
And to just see if it uh, proved that it works, I just uh, hold down the meter rods and push on the uh, uh, throttle here and uh, see if it goes up and down, which it does. Okay, then of course the next thing I do is uh, fish this, put the long uh, part into the uh, accelerator pump this way. And at the same time, um, now you have two holes here, and I didn't look it up uh, to, to figure out which hole it goes in. Um, it's uh, basically uh, the top hole you're going to get more stroke on the accelerator pump, and I'd have to get the specifications out, which I didn't do. But at any rate, uh, I just put in the top for now. We'll put the clip back on it, and we're set to go. Anyhow, that's just that part of it. So, um, also uh, notice this little uh, tab is sticking out this way. Um, you got to get that to go in the right way. And like I said, you just hold it down and see if it works. And uh, that's it for that, that part of it. So, thank you for watching.